Hello, YouTube. I'm Bagel Fricker, and this is Squash Moen for our new Bagel Fricker and Squash Moen unboxings series. Today is our pilot episode of our new series, Bagel Fricker and Squash Moen unboxings. Today, we'll be unboxing something. So we are irresponsible adults and we both yes. paid $10 for something. We don't know what. There will be a link in, a in the description to the website. Yeah. And it is from Something Store Incorporated in Brooklyn. So, you know, great things come out of Brooklyn, New York, I'll tell you. I can't think of one right now. <laughs> Not some good things come out of there. <laughs> in New York! Okay, so we're going to use our handy-dandy pocket knife here to cut this open. It, it is something in here. Is there another bag inside? There better be two bags inside of this thing. Yes, we paid for two. So first, oh, we get to do a dual unboxing. Oh my god. So there's something in there. I we don't know what. I hope it's glitter. It would be kind of neat if it was glitter. So the other one, it's, our, it's out of a box. <laughs> The USB <laughs> mini vacuum. <laughs> Definitely worth ten dollars. So that that is one of our products that we got today. Would you like to do the honors on the second one? I'll do the honors. This feels like a, a I have no idea what it feels like. This is very this is starting to scare me. I can do anything in here. Well, and if you didn't realize on the packaging, this is for PC and Mac. That's what you want in a, in a USB vacuum. You want Mac compatibility. Yeah. Not many people make USB vacuums for Mac. Okay. What do we got in here? Piece of cardboard. And a uh, oh, there's a a, a a necklace. There is a, a necklace attached to this piece of cardboard. It what says it? "You are loved" in there. Is that a there, bomb? There appears to be a, a little a bomb attached to it. Let's show that off. Yeah, let's, let's check that shit out. As you can see, it is a necklace with what what is presumably a nuclear bomb. It reads, you are loved. You are loved by the atomic apocalypse. Wait, are they two? Is I think it's... I have no idea. We, we will... Let's check it out. I kind of want that. We haven't decided who's getting what, but... I'm kind of feeling this necklace right now. You want the necklace? I'll keep I... the USB mini vacuum. Yeah, you have a much nicer keyboard than I do. You might need it. I actually do need to clean my keyboard. I think it is two necklaces. That is definitely worth ten dollars. You want to start doing that? I will now start unboxing. Oh, it says P bomb. USB mini vacuum. It is distributed by Cole Imports in Carson, California. It's an American company. Yeah, America. So it just comes off easily like that. Oh no, it's knotted. Oh, it's knotted. Ooh boy. No, it's not. <laughs> That's huh. Maybe you should just suck it up. Oh. <laughs> oh. So let's see. The first attachment is this nice little brushed attachment for your USB vacuum, because that's useful. And here's the actual vacuum. It appears there's a little LED light on it. We will be testing this. I don't know how, but we will. And this is one take. We do all our videos in one take. Yes. Uh, there's a power switch. There are three little switches oh. in there. It doesn't wow. say what's on or off. There's no instructions. This is very nice. Ooh, look there at that. There are two little charms on this one chain. Wow. So I'll start figuring this I out. This on over my head. <laughs> Bagel Fricker will continue telling you about that. This is a high quality piece of plastic, as you can see. It looks like metal, but it's not really metal. If there's anyone watching this who has seen a previous unboxing by Squash Moen, you will understand the reference. I, I need to I need to fiddle with this tiny little clasp that is impossible to put on. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, that just comes off. Look at this. 
Now I can remember all the time that I am loved by... Nuclear the, holocaust. By, I am loved very deeply by nuclear holocaust. I, I have just figured out something with the mini USB vacuum. It has two head attachments. Ooh. This one appears to be made out of some cheap plastic that still has the printing code on it. That plastic doesn't look like metal because it's not really metal. It's not actually metal. It's a it's a nice high quality plastic though. It is. So I will now bring over my nice keyboard. To it's, work. A sh it's a shame it isn't um, wireless because then it'd have a dongle. It would have a dongle, similar to a a wireless USB headset. Oh god, no! Are you. So I'll now bring doing? over my keyboard so we can test this mini USB vacuum. He's got this. Do I? Hopefully. For all those of you who have actually stayed around this long, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was going to give you a, a round of applause. I'm going to and, and apologize at the same time for this video being so... Ooh, this, this makes a nice sound when it clanks together. Let's see. Which, which attachment should we use? We use the little bristle attachment yes, why don't we? or the cheap plastic tubing I think we should go with the tubing first the tubing yes then we can pick up what we missed with the, with the bristles oh that makes sense yes. as you can see you plug it into a USB plug you have this switch ooh it has a light it has two or three switches it doesn't really change anything now <laughs> so that's now on you'll now Vacuum in between my keys. Mm. That's impressive. I see improvement already. I see some dog hairs being sucked, sucked up. That's disgusting. Well, my dog uses my keyboard. I didn't know your dog knew how to type. Dog with a blog. My oh, dog. Disney Channel. No. So tell me, how much suction does that have? I'd say that's about 7 horsepower. I think it works as a better blower than a sucker. Well, we can find out. Hey! <laughs> as you can see, it's blowing things also. It smells like ozone. It, it smells like death. Um, that's our preliminary it, result. It sounds like death, too. Let's... Ooh, there's some really good construction in here. As you can see, I'm breaking off pieces of plastic from inside of the vacuum. There's one little piece. Maybe that'll increase airflow. Maybe that's meant to be like that. Is that what all that, that noise was inside? Is the plastic? Probably. So now we're going to try the high quality bristle attachment. That's probably genuine horse hair. Yes. To make violin strings out of that. Wow. Eee! I play my violin with that vacuum. Yeah, here we go. Test two. As you can see, the USB light really makes it easier to see where you're going. Especially in such a dark environment. Yes. You can brush in between all your keys. You could blind your viewers with a USB light. I mean, what is it to like about this? I mean, I could see a lot of possibilities with this product. Because it has a light on it. Because it has a light and because it's cleaning a keyboard without keyboard dust for cans. Yeah. Because those are easy to get addicted to. <laughs> it's perfectly legal, and you can pick them up at your, at your favorite office supply store. Or, relatively you, cheap. Too. you could use the mini USB vacuum. Yeah. You could get addicted to doing wickets, or you could pick, or you can use a vacuum. It doesn't have much suction, but it does the job. It doesn't need much. This is a keyboard. No. You don't want to hurt that valuable electronics. No. We're not vacuuming like the Taj Mahal's floaters for cleaning a keyboard. Yeah. We're assuming that's what it's for. It doesn't actually say. It just says mini vacuum. Yes, mini, or USB mini vacuum. It didn't come with directions, did it? Nope. There are... No, oh wait, it does... There's a picture of a keyboard. There. It, it does have a picture of a keyboard. That's leading me to believe it's for keyboards. I bet it's for keyboards. Well, I guess we've been doing the right thing and we won't look like total fools. Yes. So, let's see. I, I will now read what it says. Requires no external power source. Well, I don't think that's quite... That's that's, that's kind of a lie. Kind of defeats the purpose of the USB plug. I bet if we cut that, it wouldn't work. Um, 
it immediately then says, connect the mini USB Ooh. vacuum to the USB port of your laptop or computer. No, you can't line. use this on anything else. Wall outlet, apparently you can't use it. I'm going to suck up this fly that's bugging me. That'll be impressive. Vacuum cleaning attachments included. One bristle brush attachment and one flexible rubber. Look at how flexible that rubber is. Two switch levels, mm. which it has three. I don't know what they're talking about. There's off, low, and high. There's off, and then on, and then on more. It, it can be on more than off. So two switch levels, slide the switch to the first level to turn on the LED light and the vacuum cleaner. Slide the switch to the second level to turn off the vacuum cleaner. All right. I don't think that... That's why you go to school, kids. <laughs> the LED is still <laughs> on and all of these... <laughs> um, use the keyboard attachment rubber to vacuum the dust and other particles trapped underneath the keyboard keys by sliding the squeezable tube between keys. I did use that right. Good. Use the brush and suction tube attachment for general... I thought that was just genera with... In a, with uh, what are those called again? What are you, what are you looking? Right there. What are those called? Uh, I don't know. That's an L. No, I the, that's an L. The ex explanation point. I thought that's what it said. Explanation point? Fuck off. The exclamation. Keep it clean. This is for the kids. Good thing I have a vacuum. Ah. ah please keep it clean. Uh, cleaning air vents for fans, monitor, and computer areas, or dust on your desktop. Well, good thing you got this, because you just built a new I just computer. built a new computer, and it's probably dirty by now, so I have a mini USB vacuum to clean it up with. So I think that's all for this episode. Yes, I'm very satisfied with spending $10 on this tiny little necklace, and it's, it's very confusing why it says you are loved. With a and it, bomb. And it has a bomb. It looks like a World War II style artillery shell or something. It's because he Where is he? the bomb. Ah. 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 No, you're the bomb because then. You go on. If you go on. Bagofricker.tumblr.com or whatever, however yeah. you can say you, that. If you give me a follow, you'll be able to see the thing that he did. Yeah. <laughs> he promoted himself. Uh huh. And if you follow me at squashmoen at tumblr.com, or what, that's an email. Don't don't email that. I don't think it's real. We'll see more of this and stay up to date on our new series. Yeah. So until next week, YouTube. We need a catchphrase for the end. Hey!